a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. I didn't eat. Look at this dude. He's so ready for this. What? Here you go, dude. There you go. Enjoy. So, I wanted to take some time to kind of explain Home Manager in NixOS and just kind of cover some stuff because I know a whole bunch of people are kind of confused on Home Manager and NixOS, like how it kind of works together and stuff. So, I thought I'd take some time to just do that. Why not? So, I'm going to switch over here to a new workspace and switch in OBS. And then I'm going to bring up a web browser and I've got some pages saved here. This being the Nix packages. So to start off with explaining home manager, I think the best place for us to start is actually here because if you want to configure something in Nix OS, uh, uh, a good example being, uh, you know, network manager, you can search for network manager in the packages and it will show you network manager, but there's a whole bunch of extra stuff with net network manager that you need to configure. So with programs like that on NixOS, when you're searching for packages or anything, you probably want to come up to the options and see. And for network manager, you'll see under networking, there's a whole bunch of network manager options to configure it, do different stuff like starting specific services or controlling services, whatever. You know, all of that good stuff is in here. Now, for Home Manager, because the whole idea with Home Manager, I'm going to need to turn off my um, freaking, or turn on my Do Not Disturb, sorry. But with Network Manager and Home, the same kind of thing for Home Manager, I'm getting my words all mixed up here. The, the same kind of thing is true with Home Manager. Home Manager has a whole bunch of these options for different programs and stuff available. And the whole idea of Home Manager is to do the same thing that NixOS is doing, but with your home folder and your users for, you know, your system. So let's just kind of show you some of the stuff that you can find in there. I also have the home manager. Ah, I forgot my bookmark is all messed up, but I'll have both of these links down in the description. But here is a page for home manager configuration options. And I just normally use control F to search through the whole page for something. So like, let's just say for the home user, I want to configure and set up bash. Well, then I can search this page for bash and look at that. This home dot shell aliases actually references programs dot bash shell aliases. So I don't, I don't want to configure the shell aliases here. I'm looking for just bash stuff in general. So let me keep going. It's going to go alphabetically. Boom. Programs.bash.enable. So inside of Home Manager, I can configure bash here. Enable bash. Then you know, I can go back through enable completion. I've got a whole bunch of, I can add extra bash RC. I can do a whole bunch of stuff here. And this just shows me all of the different options I have. So if I pop on over into... I'm, I've got my website open here. If I CD into my uh, Zany OS repo, and let me just go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Why not? So if I go in here, I can show you that inside of my config home bash folder, because inside of my Zany OS repo, there's inside of the config, there's system for you know, more Nix OS system configuration. And then there's a home folder that contains a whole bunch of Nix files that, you know, enable and set options for <clears throat> specific, you know, home manager stuff. So my bash here, if you see, if you go in here, I've got a whole bunch of extra BS in here, but if you look programs dot bash, and then I've got the whole section here with a whole bunch of options here, enable equals true, enable completion, and as you see, those were options that we were looking at right up here. So really, in all honesty, Home Manager can sound and look and be really confusing, but it's really not. It's just the same NixOS options you have for configuring packages and stuff about the system. It's just for the same thing, but for your user or home environment, same thing. So hopefully that helped explain it. 
and hopefully you enjoyed the weird kind of start to the video but thank you for watching i very much enjoyed making this and here in a second i will go ahead and list off the fantastic people who support me over on patreon but before i do you know if you enjoyed the video let me know down in the comments it does actually help and you know before you head out hit that like button it's much appreciated so for patron members we've got uh i'm gonna horrifically uh terribly say this wrong if i try to say it as a name uh so i'm just gonna do d-i-n-j um sorry brother i would butcher it way more if i actually said it but thank you very much for supporting me over on patreon nicholas zuski michael greer uh or greer what grizzly wear i don't can't speak d dubs for steve dark zero uh russell nate or nate pick forlorn idealist zach tgb russell papa smurf and matt from the Linux cast thank you boys very much for your support it means a lot and hopefully you guys will see me on the Linux cast podcast later on today see ya